All right, this is just a very quick video because um, I can talk faster than I can type. Um, I just want to clear something up. This is a piece of alcohol art. Actually, it's no different from this piece that I cut up and used here. Absolutely no different at all. This one has got a Jane Davenport Rubmon on it. And when you flick through my book, you see lots of Jane stuff. Lots and lots of Jane stuff. If you pick this up, you might think that Jane made it herself. She didn't. She inspired me. And I always give Jane credit where credit is due. I am not Jane Davenport. And I am not trying to be Jane Davenport. I am trying to be me. Now, that brings me to this. This piece of alcohol art with some dots on it and some lines on it. Guys, I am not guilty of cultural misappropriation. I'm not trying to present myself as an Indigenous artist. I'm not. Although many of you don't know my background. I have Islander blood in me. My great-grandma is from Pitcairn Island. So I have more Islander than Australian Indigenous blood in me. But I am not an Indigenous artist. This is simply dots on a page. Yes, they look similar to Indigenous symbols. It looks like you're moving towards a meeting place. But you know what? This is not Indigenous art. This is something inspired by a mural I saw by an Indigenous artist. I'm not guilty of trying to become or ride on the coattails of Indigenous artists. I myself am blessed to know some pretty amazing artists. I have their work hanging in my home. Um, I teach children that are separated from their land and their culture and their people to embrace their culture. If art is something that they want to follow and immerse themselves in, and they want to do it from a cultural perspective, then I wholly encourage that. If I want them simply to use their art to express themselves, if I want people to show their joy, that's all I'm doing. I'm asking people to see the beauty. I'm asking people to be inspired by other people because that's kind of cool. I am not an Indigenous artist. I come up with original ideas. My blooms are an original idea. Yes, I've used alcohol inks. Yes, other designers put their names on alcohol inks that other companies make. It's not a new idea. How I used that was a new idea. I created Zen Blooms. I created Zen Dust. No one else. Me, Jules Gibson. I did it. I'm not an Indigenous artist. But I am an artist and I will encourage people to try everything and anything that gets their creativity flowing. You know what? Art is my happy place. I want it to be your happy place too. Be creative. Lift each other up. Don't try and tear each other down. And if you've got questions, ask. Don't assume that someone's trying to be someone else. They're simply trying different mediums on different substrates, using different styles, inspired by different people. Please understand that. That's all, guys. See ya.